Hello friends, uh, myself Chetan Zado. In previous lecture, we have seen that the some application of the solid model, then uh, different type of the uh, curves, analytical curves, synthetic curves. In that, we have seen that harmonic curves. So today's lecture, we will start from this a uh, Bezier curve. So uh, in the Bezier curve, P Bezier uh, from French car form, uh, Reggie Renault uh, developed in 1962. Curve. Uh, this type of the curve is generated by the approximation techniques. We are generating this type of the curve by defining the or generating the approximation technique. The curve can have any degree of depending upon number of control points. That curve is depending on the any number of the control points. A need four points. That is a two at the end of the segment and two control tangent vectors. So, in this curve, we need the at least four points to define this curve. So that are the uh, some information regarding the Bezier curve. Now you can see here the control point is there from P1 to P4, P1, P2, P3, P4. So uh, we need this four point at least to defining the nature of this curve. So two at end of the segments and two control point at the tangent of this this curve. Okay. So what are the key features of this Bezier curve? now we start the curve interpolates first and last points okay so in this type of the curve bezier curve first and last point it will be interpolates that is a passes through the p0 and pn point p0 means your starting point and pn means your last point the curve is a tangent to the first and last segment of the bezier polygon whatever that first point and first segment and last segment that should be tangent of the that polygon so that is the requirement curve is very smooth and fluid so uh, this curve as compared to the uh, previous harmonic curve it is a very smooth and flexible curve okay convex hull property convex hull property It means a convex hull is defined as a maximum area prescribed by control points in which the curve do lie. Whatever that uh, in between control point is there, that will be create some maximum area covered by this control point, which in which the curve is lies. That will be create the convex hull properties. That is a benefit of this Bezier curve. So easy to generalize the higher order. in this type of the curve it will be easy for uh, generalize the order of this curve insert more control points we can insert more control point in between this curve that is also uh, features of this curve so that will be helpful for the making the curve very flexible and smooth so this is the some key features of the bezier curve next uh, drawbacks of the bezier curves so the curve lacks of the local control so as compared to harmonic curve in this bezier curve the local control is not possible by changing the position of the one vertex whole shape can be changed suppose we are just doing uh, small changes in between the in this starting and end point we are picking as any one control point in between this curve and we want to change some just a uh, small uh, position of that control point but uh, that will be leads to the change the whole shape of the curve so that will be a major drawback the next curve does not pass through all control points in this bezier curve that curve is uh, not passes all the control points which may be inconvenient to the some designer so that things is a uh, uh, usually is uh, uh, not convenient for the all designers so that is also a drawback of the bezier curves the degree of bezier curve depends on the number of the control points so uh, this curve a degree it's totally depend on the number of the control points which is covered by this curve for example to draw cubic curve number of data points required at least number is 4 so if you want to define a bezier curve so you have to at least need a four point minimum four point for the define the bezier curve as a cubic curve so this is the major drawback of this bezier curve 
so this uh, suppose we want to define degree of this curve so it is totally depend out the number of the control points suppose number of control point is greater so that degree of the also increases so more complicated shapes required higher order bezier curves for uh, complicated parts so bezier curve requires more a higher order however higher order curves are inherently more heavy wavy so that will be also tends to the again drawbacks so these are the some uh, drawbacks of the bezier curves next curve that is a b spline curves so we have already seen that the harmontide and bezier curve so this is the uh, next curve that is a b spline it focuses on limitations of the cubic and bezier curves whatever limitation of that previous curve that things we are overcome in this b spline curves we are focusing on the just limitation of the previous curves and we are modifying that limitations and that will convert it into advantages so that is important and it is useful curves using special set of the blending functions in this curve we are using special set of the blending functions they provide local control and without increasing degree of the curve we can add control points so this is the most important benefit of this b spline curve as compared to the previous curve we are using special set of the blending functions and that things we are providing that things uh, providing a local control and without increasing the degree of the curve we can add the n number of the control points so that is the most important things and four control points can produce linear curve quadratic curve cubic b spline curve also so in this curve only with the help of the four control points we can create the linear curve we can create the quadratic curve we can create the cubic b spline curve this is the most important benefit of this curve over the all curve it can be open and close curve so this is also a uh, important thing so in base plan curve it cu this curve can be open and can be close next curve that is a nerves that is a non uniform rational b spline uh, this is the example of the rational curves where non uniform knot vectors are used to represent the curve so uh it offers a great flexibility and precision for handling both analytic and modeled shapes it is commonly used in cad cam ce so this is the most uh used for the where uh, it provides a flexibility and precision so it is mostly commonly used in handling for the analytic uh, shapes and uh, that's why uh, this type of the curve is using in uh, recent cad cam ce strains so fear uh, non uniform knot vectors are available that things that time we are using this type of the curves and the main advantages of this type of the nerve surfaces over the polygons is that the nerve surfaces can create the smoother surfaces with the less control points whatever the previous curve is there uh, as compared to that in that curve it uh, curves created the smooth surfaces with the less control point with the help of the less control point we can create the smoother surfaces by using this nerves so nerve surfaces are especially suited for creating organic smoother surfaces so it is a specially used for the creating organic smoothing surfaces rational curves can handle both analytical and synthetic curves so this type of the curve can be handled both type of the analytical and synthetic curves easily that is the most important benefit rational curves represent a point with homogeneous coordinate system fear a 3d coordinate system is expressed as w suffix x w suffix y w suffix z that is with additional coordinate representing weight w so uh, that rational curves will give a benefit with that will be represent curves with the help of the homogeneous coordinate system in 3d coordinate system as additional coordinate system referencing the weight w so that is also most important benefit nerves has more versatile modification capacity 
so in that nerves curve we can easily modified any type of the things like curve shape control point things local control global control that thing we are easily modified that capacity uh, have in this curve so this is important curve using same control points with a different weights different curves can be generated so we are using same control point only and from that different weights we are using we are defining the different different weights and we will get the different different types of the curve we can generate it so these are the about nerves curve then uh, we are at the end of this chapter so we will see there some objective question type uh, so uh, the points that govern the shape of the curve is modeling are called as control point origins end point and set point so as we have studied in the type of the curves we are we have seen that the what is the function of the control points so answer is also control point so just this is a, uh, some sample question for this uh, chapter just uh, you should go through this we will understand the uh, just theory behind this so this is the some sample question of the objective question so our chapter is finish so thank you thank you so much